Hi, it's Jeff Harrison at MacroMonster.com. This is a to answer a question from the Corel Draw news groups. Now, I just put in a quick uh, copy of the bitmap that the user had put into the forums. I didn't take the time to retype all of that, but that's something that he would have as vector shapes. Now, at the bottom, uh, just hidden by a white rectangle at the moment, was a serial number where he wants to have some numbers that auto advance. Now you can use, uh, and, uh, by the way, I'm just hiding it with a, a white rectangle for the moment because we're going to have something like this where we have the new numbers. These are, this is just artistic text string. I put in a plus as my variable symbol that will increase over time. Uh, anyway, he wants to be able to increase that uh, 100 units at a time. You could do more than that if you wanted to. I would say maybe 500 or 1,000. Um, and so basically all we got to do here, if I go back to the forum question, he's asking uh, where does he want to start here? 250,000. Okay, well we can start at that point. Not a problem. Anyway, um, so what we're going to be doing is running a macro for this. This is ideal for that. I'm just going to launch that macro. So what we need to do first of all, I've just made one single page of these dimensions, pasted in the image off the website, uh, and we're going to make a 100 page document. So how do we do that? We just go to hit the page down key and we can add 99 more pages. Same size like this. So they're blank at the moment, but that's why I added a feature in the, in the product here where if you select everything on page one, copy selected to all pages. There, very fast. So that stuff's on every page. Now here, we want to replace a character. Okay, we want to replace the plus. And you could use whatever single character you want, uh, but you don't want it to be something that's also in your text for your other stuff. And we want to have the starting number at 250,000. Now I've set this text up to be um, centered. This is the center justification. The reason that's important is, is that it's going to spread out from left to right equally uh, centered on the page. Now I'm going to leave it in, in the color red for now just so you can see what's happening, but you can make it whatever color you want. But okay, so we just hit uh, make numbers. It just takes a second there, and you can see how it started at 250,000. And if we hit the page down key here, basically it's it's just incrementing upwards to fill up those 100 pages. Okay, and then you could just simply save the file. And um, you might want to save a master copy of this file so that when you run it again, you can start from the next point forward. But how about we try something a little uh, more unconventional? I'm just going to hit Control Z to go back a step. And uh, so it undid that action. So it's, it's, it's good because you can experiment with different numbers very quickly this way. What if we were to press Control Z again, and now we have all of those blank pages, and we added, um, how many more would we need here? 399 more. Uh, we've got 100 pages now. Actually, let's go ahead and add, let's see here, layout insert page and we let's say if we inserted 300 more pages so we'll have a total of actually 400 more a total of 500 let's see if that works for us so we do have 500 pages here now if we go to very page one just to show you that it has the capacity to do 500 pages fairly quickly uh, hit control a copy selected to all pages okay and then we're still on page one back to page one here and then simply make numbers we'll start at 250,000 again like that make numbers now because we have 500 pages it's going to take a little bit longer than before but see it's already done so it didn't take too long and now I'm going to just hold down the page down key and you can see how it's you know going pretty quickly there I'll spread this out if we click on this we can go to a specific page maybe page 400 and we can see how it's it's actually not off by any because the very first one was a zero so page one actually zero so this is actually correct here all right so and you can just simply save the file and come and print uh, as many pages as you need on a daily basis and the final thing I wanted to mention here was if you're I'm not sure how you're imposing the final job but 
if you were to hit control P for example and um, choose I don't know PDF creator and we want to let's see here preferences how about I'm not sure what size of um, uh, page size you're using there but I'm just going to grab a size like uh, tabloid for now apply print preview and uh, let's see here go back a notch Oop, we got a print composite here apply go to print preview now if we were to go to the imposing tab let's see if we can get four up or something or six up like that it's probably shrinking it down to fit the page size which isn't quite right but anyway I'm just not sure what substrate you're printing on that red that I had used before is uh, because I had chosen um, if I go back here actually go to color convert to it was under here go back to color just so you can see the red color and how that's looking you're you probably I don't know if you're printing six up on a sheet at, at a time or not but now we've we simplified it down to 84 sheets in this case for tabloid size. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that CrowdDraw has a built-in imposing function like that as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.